us the most important thing is that it is a technician independent technique in which we can cut the cornea. That's one of the most advantages we have from this instrument. The second one is that um, we are able to cut a constant quality of the lamellae. That's important for the user, the eye surgeon. That's the second thing we, uh, we appreciate very much. A third advantage is that it works on electricity and not on gas propulsion. So we can run it any place where we have the facility to work in a aseptic environment. Click and Co system, it's very easy to set up and very easy to use. Uh, it's also, that's the, the, you can learn to other people it's, uh, very quickly. Uh, the SLC Dock Assistant, that makes the whole thing uh, hands-free. That uh, is a positive aspect for the microbiology, but most positive aspect is the cut. It's consistent and it doesn't matter who's doing the cutting, it's always the same. We are now conducting a multicenter clinical randomized trial comparing the results of uh, standard DSEC with ultra-thin DSEC. There is evidence that uh, following ultra-thin DSEC, patients should achieve uh, superior visual results and a higher proportion of patients achieve a 20-20 vision. However, because of uh, the standard deviation inherent uh, to current microkeratome technology, preparation of ultra-thin tissue is uh, challenging, at least in the beginning, and associated with a higher rate of perforations. We chose to use the Gebauer uh, SLC microkeratome system for our study for several reasons. First of all, being user independent, uh, it eliminates user associated variability in graft thickness, which was very important for us. Uh, this also reduces the risk for perforation and makes this system particularly suitable for use in the setting of a cornea bank preparing pre-cut tissue. Uh, second of all, the Gebauer microkeratome system has a uh, unique applination plate, uh, allowing the user to accurately predetermine uh, graft diameter. And uh, we tested the Gebauer microkeratome together with the Eurocornea bank and found a very, uh, a very high predictability of graft thickness and also uh, an excellent uh, surface regularity of the graphs dissected with uh, the Gebauer microkeratome system. And this is why we chose to use it in our ultra-thin D6 study. Now, in general, pre-cut tissue is of, I think, an enormous potential in terms of, uh, of let's say, increasing the efficacy and the safety of a D6 procedure. Because if we cut the tissue at the bank, we have a superior quality assurance because the people of the bank, the technicians, can prepare the tissue and then look at the quality of the endothelium afterwards while by doing it during the surgical theater like we do it now in the room, we cut the lamella and actually we don't know what the quality of the endothelium is after the cutting. So that's a significant, I think, advantage in terms of quality assurance and safety uh, for the surgeon as well as the, as the patient. Uh, on the other hand, you also don't have some of the inadvertent effects that may occur during the cutting of the lamella nowadays, since you, we know that in very incidental cases we can have buttonholes and then we have to postpone the surgery. So this will finish when we have pre-cut tissue. And the other effect, of course, is an effect in terms of cost effect effectivity. If we can cut the pre-cut tissue at the bank and then disperse it to the surgeons, we don't need the microkeratome in every surgical theater. Now the other thing is that we know that microkeratomes are not always that predictable in thickness for a certain lamella. And especially if you go deeper into the corneas and your thickness becomes much more extensive we see a, a huge standard of variation. Now what we have been doing, we have been partnering with Euro Cornea Bank and Beverbank to look at the thickness and the standard deviation of very thick lamellas. And one of my PhD students, Maud Dickman, has done studies that clearly show that if you cut 400, 450, 500, 550 thick lamellas, the standard deviation is still only 20 micron with the Gebauer. 
and that's extremely good and extremely pre predictable. So what we really want to do now is to undertake an ultra-thin lamella versus a standard DSEC lamella study to see whether these thinner lamellas actually give us better vision, which is in the benefit of the, of the patient, of course.